We have to find ways to help actual communication to take place between people. And the only way that's going to happen is if at least one of the people listens to the other. And uh, so we give a lot of advice around listening, and we talk a lot about why is it that we find listening so hard, right? We have ears. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be this impossible thing. Uh, and yet, in, when, when conflict rises and the heat goes up, we just turn our ears off, and we start advocating, we start arguing, we start explaining and telling. And if both people are doing that, then there's literally no communication happening. It's just two people giving a speech at each other. The first thing is to be aware that we have what, what I would call, we have an internal voice, that we have this voice in our head, um, and that voice tends to disrupt our listening. If you and I are having an argument, it's very hard for me to take in information from you when I'm thinking those things into my head. So I need to somehow find a way to turn my own internal voice, my own criticisms of what you're saying, into some kind of curiosity. The thing that helps me the most is literally just to remind myself in advance. Because no matter how much you study communication, no matter how much you think about it, listening and inquiry is never going to be the thing that you just want to do naturally, if there's, especially when there's real conflict. Um, and so literally before I have a conversation where I think there might be some conflict, I just remind myself, I say to myself, okay, I'm going to want to go in, I'm going to want to advocate, argue, disagree, blast the other person, whatever it is. But knowing that, what I'm going to at least try to do is say, interesting, tell me more. Help me understand why we see this differently. What are you looking at that I don't see? I think it starts with each individual, right? Each individual is looking out and saying, well, no one else is doing it, right? How, or how can we train everybody else? If each individual were simply thinking about it for the people that they influence, um, it would make a big difference. And so especially if you're kind of starting at the top and the people at the top are modeling, if, if the CEO of the organization is going around asking for feedback and rewarding feedback, um, that has a profound impact on an organization. Uh, if the CEO is going around saying, uh, we're trying. We're not trying to blame people when something goes wrong. We're trying to understand what happened so that we can improve. That has a big impact on the organization. So the the further up you go in terms of disseminating the skills, the more impact you're going to have.